It's often unclear just how much businesses are picking up grants, subsidies, tax benefits, credit guarantees, and so on, but there's little doubt that huge sums are involved. It's been estimated that the German government alone might be paying up to 150 billion euros a year to companies, which would be a third of the national budget. It's all completely legal, of course, but it's far from transparent, as our reporter has been finding out. A smiling chancellor posing for the cameras, journalists out in force, lavish receptions and plenty of applause. It's all part of the handing out of state subsidies. Like here at the BMW Works in Leipzig back in 2005. And it all wouldn't be possible without taxpayers' money. Back then, the government proudly spent 360 million euros to subsidize BMW, nearly a third of the company's total investments. It's all business as usual for the German government and for competition watchdogs at the European Commission. It's their job to check the legality of subsidies given to companies by EU member states. But this process takes place without much fanfare. So, who's getting how much? It's a simple question, but the answer isn't so straightforward as our DWTV reporter found out. First, there's the federal government subsidies report. It contains general account information, but no mention of who actually receives the subsidies. Asking around at the various ministries also leads nowhere. Officials refuse to part with information about individual companies for reasons of data protection. Next, we turn to the experts. Alfred Boss, a researcher at the Kiel Institute for the World Economy, understands the problem. For years, he's been tapping into all sources open to the public to put together his own institute's reports. He's convinced that the government strategy is a cover-up. Taxpayers would find out that they're the ones who are financing these things. They'd recognize that the groups receiving these subsidies are often not people normally categorized as poor. They're often people who, under normal circumstances, shouldn't be getting these subsidies. This man, for example, Britain's heir to the throne, Prince Charles, is a wealthy man, but even he receives EU agricultural subsidies. But now the European Commission itself is calling the shots by issuing new guidelines for greater transparency. Starting this year, EU citizens can find out who is getting what, like German energy provider RWE. Taxpayers stand to benefit as information once kept secret now sees the light of day. Well, that's our in-depth look at subsidies in the European Union as the movement grows for more transparency as to how they're allotted. Thanks for joining us here at DWTV and stay with us if you can.